What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Today I'm pumped because I'm getting a haircut by the number one hairstylist in the country, Candice Mohan. Candice Mohan is dating my good friend, Chef Jason Peru, and this is her spot. So we're going to go inside, we're going to get a full shave, I'm going to clean my beard up, and I'm going to get a massage. Let's go. Hey! Hi. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. So what do we do here? Well, it's what we don't do here. So literally, we do everything hair. So we have hair, makeup, nails, even my own clothing line. You're in for treats because we're literally going to have you looking awesome. Candice Mohan <laughs> is electric. She's awesome. So this is the spot, right? So this is your daughter? Of course, my greatest inspiration is literally being a parent. I, I think there's nothing to get you out of your bed than being a parent. Of course. So it's my motivation. I made sure that wall was visible so I can remind myself every day why I do this. I'm a parent. I haven't slept in years. <laughs> <laughs> and so right here, as soon as we enter, we have, you know, reception area. Correct. And then over here, we have your clothing line. Yes, it's a custom clothing line, which is Western Indo heritage, Pakistani vibe, but Western cut. So it's modern. Yeah. Easy to wear Amazing. and easy on the eye and custom made to each client. So we do personal fittings. So what is so what is the brand? Because it's in Hindi, it's right? Correct. It's called Sanvi. It's well, basically it was a name that has a little bit of a story behind it because my boyfriend gave me the name. So, but yeah, it's just a brand. It's just awareness of what I do and who I am and a reflection of our culture in the Caribbean. This is like a bar. Yes. This is our little, little, little bit of refreshment. So you can literally grab a drink and get something to eat. We usually have this available to each client. So it's a really personal setting. And over here is just the shop, right? Correct, yeah. So here's where we do all the fittings, like these clothing the pieces that we have available for customs. They do this, they stack up onto the podium. And there we have it. Boom! Man, I feel like I should wear this. You should, <laughs> we should get you drunk. This is beautiful. Maybe at the end, maybe when I'm all cleaned up. This is so nice. With you. This I is beautiful. Pick you up and have that done. So all Indian inspired clothing. Correct. Pakistani based on West Indian heritage, we have so many different cultures. I mean, that's the that's the beauty of Trinidad and Tobago. It's diverse. Mm -hmm. That's what we cater too. And we can be, basically create anything, something out of nothing. Amazing. Now, the reason I'm here in Trinidad, well, I wanted to come here my whole life, but so many fans from India, from New York, told me you have to go mm -hmm. to Port of Spain. You guys have to eat doubles. I, I would not say we're the number one Caribbean island. <laughs> <laughs> She's too much. Yeah. This is great. So super open space, and this is where we're getting the haircut. Yeah. I don't really think David needs much to do, <laughs> because it seems as he's already done, but we're going to... Up a bit. Well, you know, so my, my method now, I started shaving two years ago. Yeah. So I shave every other day, so I get a little bit. I haven't shaved in four days to okay. give it some time. So we're going to actually like shave, shave your head. Yeah, yeah. Neaten up your beard a little oh. bit and keep you looking fresh. Let's do it. Yep. Here we go. But I like the beard, right? Yeah, I do. I like it. Uh, I think you should keep it. Thing is that maybe it's a little trim, you know, because. Um, yeah. What I do with Jason's is like I just like mark it a little bit, just neater. Okay. So get your hairline and just around your lips and stuff. Keep it pretty low. You don't think it's too long? Well, I'll just come it down a little Yeah, okay. So just make sure that everything is level for you. Well, I use disposable because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, before that, we had a lot of salon tools and so forth, but because now I just have to be a little bit extra careful because you know you don't want to make sure that somebody feels safe. So we're gonna mark it up, right? Yeah. We're gonna yep, just yep. shape it. Yeah. Make it look nice. I like your beard. I don't want to take off too much of the length. So, <laughs> don't worry, it grows fast. I like it. I can, can you imagine? I have to do this like again in Tobago. <laughs> and the length. Mm -hmm. uh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So it blends into your beard. Oh, look at that. I mean, two different people now, right? Yep. So this will give you a neater shave. Mm -hmm. And in the daytime, which is tomorrow, you feel nice and neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really do look like a different person. Oh, yeah. No, I change. I'm like a chameleon. So have you ever had a beard before? Like full grown, like fully, 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 fully. Oh, I had a hundred day beard once. What? Yeah, that was long. Like it was like, it was like getting to like, you know, like do this. Oh, okay. I know, I know, too much. I was actually, what, was that, what was that experience like? Let me interview you. You always mm, interview everyone. What is that experience like? With that, that's a funny experience. Also, you know, the hard thing with beards is that with sweat, because I'm from Miami, right. it gets like tedious. You know, you have to go in there, there's just pimples. I mean, it's not easy. Can you imagine me leave you with half a bed like no, that? No, no. <laughs> 
And because your beard grows in different directions, it's important to trim it, or at least even if you're growing it out, mm -hmm. so that it balances properly, so you don't get ingrown hair that could cause pimples. Because it's going to cover your skin if it's not cut in the direction that it should be. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it looks just crazy. Right. And you have to block it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like this to me. It's that monkey face. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, there's something about sitting here in the chair and getting a haircut. Yeah. I literally, if I didn't have the camera, fall asleep. <laughs> fall asleep. I'd just be like too I relaxed, you know? <laughs> nice. It's funny you mentioned monkey, because this morning I saw a monkey at the, at the double factory. Oh, yeah, they, had, they had a pet monkey. I'm like, scared me too. It's literally scared the hell out of me. <laughs> so I just shape it, right? Yep. Is that nice? How do you find a few mm. She just buys Friday, Saturday, how nice it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. My, my beard's fast. Like, I shave, and if I'm not shaving two days later, it's already really, really long. Yeah. That's why, and you're saying half. You know, I've done a half head before. I've grown the hair and yeah. shaved half my head. If I had, like, short hair for my entire 20s, and like, I got a literal rock a mohawk. Mohawk in your 20s. Yep. <laughs> like, even for clients that do commercials, mm -hmm. um, Certain features you need to accentuate. So the detail that goes into photography or even an ad. It's amazing what I get contracted to do. Mm hmm That's good. Yeah, that's one thing about growing a beard that I hate is that you have to do that. Yeah. If not, it gets into your mouth, you know? Yeah. Deep. So it's around your lips. Mm -hmm. It's a creative space. There's a lot of detail. How do you feel about that? So good. Totally different. Totally different. So I'm just going to outline your beard. Mm -hmm. Outline your beard. I was thinking of lasering that bottom piece. Yeah, you should. Right? It would be, be so much easier. Yeah, because you never have to do it again. Yeah, actually, the clients who did it before, and it just one because it gives them that outline mm -hmm. that it's easy even for it to follow. It's like a template. And in there, and also here, like this yeah, area. Yeah, that area is really good. Just get rid of it. Just with laser, huh? Yep. I have friends that have done their whole back. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I mean, if they're hairy, you know, they're done with the hair. <laughs> it's well, amazing I could do that. It's so easy, yeah. It's so much easier. Mm -hmm. How often do you shave your hair? My head every other day. Literally every other day. Just use some like uh, some shave butter. Yeah. You call it. Mm -hmm. It works wonders. Oh yeah. I'm okay with you in Sabeta, so we could always outline it if you need. <laughs> You're too much. <laughs> just take mine because this could be in your so you're gonna be with us in Tobago. Yeah. Perfect. I think Jason thought of everything. Yeah, yeah, right. He was literally making sure that he had this organized. He's like, you need to take care of him. He needs to look great on the camera. And I'm like, okay, job done. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he pre-planned and he literally had everything down to a science. How this is going to work? I got a schedule. Yeah. Okay. I've been traveling around the world for a long time. Jason was yeah. like the most logistically prepared person I've ever worked with. Really? He's like, like that. two weeks ago, he sent me the, the agenda. Yep. He's like, that's it, you're done. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. He's very organized, very articulate, and he, he executes well. Of course, it's for, my, for me as a person, mm -hmm. for my business, but the main thing is to inspire people to come here. Correct. You know? so, so it's the inspiration behind, behind the goal. Mm -hmm. And it goes hand in hand because sometimes some people just not aware. They just don't know. They don't. And the level of connectivity that you create mm -hmm. amazing. With, with networks all over the globe. Take out the shape? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just for antibacterial, just to make sure that you know. Okay, okay. So we shampoo and wash and all of that. Oh. It's just like step on stages to make sure that. But do I really look different, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, I dropped probably like five pounds you in the weight. You know, because my, my face looks very round, yeah. now it's like very slim. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 
all over the place. Oh. Oh my gosh. So we have this thing, our carnival, which mm -hmm. happens every year at the beginning of the year. And we have this thing called Juve. So it's almost like fun with mud, paint. You know, it's like messy party. I don't even know how to explain it. This, this would be perfect for you to go to Juve. A messy party. <laughs> yeah, a foam party. Wow. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, it does. It's actually, you warmed it up because it, it usually comes in super cold. Correct. So the temperature on my hand would really, really bring it up. Basically, trying to do everything here because the area that we do these stuff in mm -hmm. is a bit dark. Because okay. We try to make sure that it's a relaxing exactly. space. So I'm just doing it in this chair just so that you can get it. Perfect. But usually this is done at the back of the salon. Mm -hmm. That's darker, more. Yeah, darker setting. Yeah, darker. It, it lightens the mood, right? Correct. So where are we located in Port of Spain? So we're located at One Woodbrook Place, which is a premier capital in the capital city of Port of Spain. It's a building that has restaurants, lounge, lifestyle, and residential living. It's the lux most luxurious complex in the country. So I agree with you, self-shaving is important to know how the client would usually shave mm -hmm. because I don't want to pull on the direction that it's not the hair, it's not already trained for because then you have tugging okay. and ingrown hairs that we do not want. It's called tugging, huh? Yeah. And when you tug onto the hairline, you pull the roots of the hair and then you want to make it, it forms like a, obviously if you pull on anything, you put pressure mm -hmm. and that causes the hair to raise and cause uh, inflammation. Got it. So I like to shave in the direction of the growth of the hair okay. so to avoid the same issue that I just spoke of. So it gives you a smoother, flat look. And it's easy because when you pull it down, it's easy if you just look at the direction of the client. I mean, I can do this like literally in five minutes, mm -hmm. but we spend a little time extra to give David that little extra Gucci finish. <laughs> Not Louis Vuitton. No, sorry, let me get the brown right. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Not the, not a professional setter. Yeah. So case in point, when you have video shoots going on and you're in a Caribbean island or you're anywhere, you have to be able to do this something on the side of the street because oh, yeah. the shoot requires it. Are there any like guys doing haircuts on the side of the street? Because in India you could do it. In India you could do <laughs> oh, this on the side no. of the street. Um, no, I don't think so. I think in Trinidad and Tobago you all have professional salons. Yeah, yeah. But always. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm sure there's one guy somewhere in Trinidad I'm with sure. a blade ready to <laughs> shave your head. <laughs> and you never know. You really never know because I could be wrong. Yeah, I've only done it one time in, uh, in Pakistan. I did that. And how was that? Oh man, it's just like a setup on the sidewalk, you know? It's, yeah. And what's crazy is that it's just the hustle and bustle. You can feel the city, the, the vibrantness of it, you know? It was definitely a different experience. Oh, of course. I think in Toronto and Tobago, people are so private. I'm not sure how the average person would feel about that. I mean, that's just to show you how different cultures are in different countries. So this is going in for a second round? Yeah, with a new blade. So I, I prefer to always use a new blade every time I go in. So even if I for the second round, we got a new blade. So this, this, that's what the purpose of the disposable are for. Mm -hmm. So then we just throw it out and toss it out. And yeah. Plus it's safer. Yes, and it's clean and sharp. So somebody told me this. They mm -hmm. said to learn how to shave a head correctly, you gotta put shaving cream on a balloon <laughs> and then not pop it. No, seriously, this, uh, a barber told me this years ago and I was like, yeah. And now I get it because I cut myself many times in the beginning. Yeah. And now I know how to do it like without even looking at a mirror. Yeah. You know? Because I'm sure practice makes perfect. Oh man. Imagine every other day. Mm -hmm. oh. That little area is hard. There's always yeah. little hairs there. But it's just to keep it, you know, smooth and clean. So do you have a lot of men come in as clients? Um, yeah, I actually do, but I have a lot of non disclosure Celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Amazing. You know, I mean, a lot of the embassies, um, the diplomats, um, people that come into the country to do specials. Okay, got it. Yourself, yep. some features. Um, yeah. Perfect. Because of the salon's location, the exclusivity and the privacy, because the salon is literally a studio. So, got it. for shoots like that. So, yes, I do. Oh. I know a lot of the things um, I have done or mm -hmm. learned is from experience as well. Huh? 
it's not always that you're professional, you train to do something. Sometimes a lot of things I learned is because I winged it. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, this needs to be done. I don't know how to do it, but I'm going to get it done. Got it. And then it happened. And I think that is just one yeah. of the, the greatest things you can have in life is experience. Yeah, it's trial and error, you know? Uh, how many times have I picked this camera up? You know? <laughs> just got to keep going. So quick rinse, and then we're going to put a hot towel and a massage. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yes. This is one of my favorite parts. Yeah, oh, head massage. Oh, head massage, yeah. Oh, guys, right there, as she gets into the temple, like, it's so amazing. Wow. Candace, you're the best. <laughs> you're oh. welcome. Oh, right there in the neck. Oh. Yeah, especially when you get in there. Whoa. You know, I slept two hours last night and then I slept three hours this morning. I mean, you guys wanted me to eat doubles at three in the morning. <laughs> that was Jason's I morning. know, I know. I but, think he wanted you to get a fresh experience. But you know what? Doubles at three in the morning was a great idea because it was nice and hot. Yeah. It's super fresh. Mm -hmm. And wow, the combination there at that place. Yep. Oh, so good. And people can go there. I didn't know that, but people can actually go and eat there. Yeah, if they, they want. Um, so I have a thing where we say I like hot food. Like it's the comfort of having food at that, that temperature to me is the best part. Yeah, like warm, just made. Yep. And it's fresh, it's like literally, yes. So we're gonna take you to the front. Okay. I mean, I'm skipping a lot of parts because of how your time refrain. Mm -hmm. Come on. No worries. Oh man, guys. <laughs> that feels good. It feels great, actually. Right, here we go. So we're gonna do a hot towel mini massage. Okay. Oh, I already feel better. I feel good, I feel good. Luckily that flight's only four hours, you know? Oh, that's a hot towel, huh? Yeah. Too hot. I want it to cool up. You want it to cool I down? Want it too, too hot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So usually like with our clients and stuff, you know, we give them the full, full experience. We try to make sure that they're comfortable, they feel good. Got it. Here we go. So what this it's so hot for you. Oh no, it feels great. Right. It's like perfect. Yeah. It's just, it's just a little added boost. Oh. I mean, to give someone that level of comfort. So usually we would wrap this onto them. Okay. And then put them on mask. And they would relax for a bit. Even oh. Our, like regular clients, when they have to do treatments and so forth and they come out, you want to just give them that little extra. So it's not, it's not anything in particular to say aesthetically it does anything. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's just a level of comfort. I mean, what it does is it just relaxes your mind. All right. Right. All right. I mean, we do have, wow. we do have like a proper service that will take place, but I will take an extensive hour and a half. Oh, no, don't worry, don't worry. Those are things that, this is just like, I just wanted to give you a little treat to explain to you mm -hmm. what you get when you come by. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Oh. Ready to actually go out on the road again. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Last step. It's a massage. Yeah. So what are you putting on your hands? Actually, these are just organic mineral oils. Yeah. Okay. It depends because I have like three mm -hmm. or four different oils that I use based on each client's scalp. Ooh. So, you know, if you, in your case, your scalp is exposed. So I'll put stuff that is restorative to you, a little sun protection and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But each client is different. Oily scalp, so you'll put something that doesn't make them feel even more oily. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't put gel on for years. Correct. Like so years ago. When I say we have to do a consultation, it's because we do a full assessment of the person and their lifestyle. Yeah. And then you know what product to use that helps. Also, we live in the Caribbean. You don't want to put stuff on the boat and the sun and sweat. No, that's not going to happen. No way. <sighs> See, I need like one hour of that. <laughs> like, for real, like right there. <gasps> it's like a little rolling pin yeah, so on my neck. Yeah, really the tension that would have built up even if you slept badly. Mm hmm. Yeah. Even overall to lay back to get your head washed. And you've been in the car and traveling a lot, so yeah. And then usually we would all, I always have my institution, like if you do a full head and neck massage, mm -hmm. you belong into first. That's my beard, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't get to do your full beard facial and all of that. No, that's fine. My life is too much on the go, you know? Oh. You are fully ready. 
All done, David. All done. And in time too. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't forget this. We, we were very limited with time this morning. It was a pleasure. Candace. Mini service on David. You are the best. Some mini service. <laughs> You're the best. Next time you guys are in Trinidad, you have to come to Candace Mohan. And it's yep. one long word. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people actually say my name in one word. So it's actually Candice Mohan. Yeah. Like, hi, Candice Mohan. So I'm Candice Mohan. And welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Amazing. So we'll see everyone. Thank you so much. You're welcome, David. So head shave, beard trimming, got a mini massage. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to go to sleep. But you know what? It's time for food. <laughs> So we're on the road now. We're Let's on the go. road. Let's go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And come Don't out to Candace. Don't forget to tell David if you like the bed, we keep in the bed. And what should be his next look? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much more of a look. It's either beard or no beard. Come on, David. Let's bleach out that bed and color it. And what? You know, you see David with a blue bed. <laughs>